I know I said we at Uprox do not engage in scadenfruit when I wrote about another Kanye West fail earlier this week, but the man is truly testing the limits of that policy this week. Now you think anyone who has followed the Mercurial producer's moves for the past, like, decade would understand the inherent risk involved in unskeptically engaging with anything he announces? But rolling loud attendees were given the Emperor's new clothes treatment firsthand at his special performance last night in Inglewood, California. Built to perform a headlining performance ahead of the festival proper, Kenny instead pulled a Frank Ocean at Coachella, instead just sort of standing around on stage while a DJ played his last album, Vultures One. Fans were. Let's just say displeased. I'm not gonna say the show sucked, but I just thought going to a Kenny show would be different, wrote disgruntled fan on Twitter. So Kenny is lipping the whole performance tonight, observed another, with pretty obvious disappointment. And look, I said you prox says wouldn't engage in any scat and fruit, but fans on Twitter certainly did. No way Kenny just dipped after playing Vultures, a rolling loud one joked. At this rate, he's gonna stop showing up at all and tell his fans who imagine him performing, they'll be like I see him. Again, the disdain for Kanye's latest anti-performance was palpable, but something tells me folks will keep coming back for more sunk costs and all. It definitely sucks to see a first ballot hip-hop Hall of Famer turn into. This, but the good news is, there are plenty of other artists out there to enjoy who haven't become Nazi apologists. Check out some more reactions below. Kanye West just stands there while pre-release music plays during headlining Rolling Loud Festival performance. For their headlining set opening the Rolling Loud California Festival in Los Angeles on Thursday night, Kanye West and Ty Dolla Dollar I merely stood on stage for an hour while pre-recorded music from their already released first album played over the loudspeakers. While the wording in the official announcement of the late added performance was unspecific, Vulture is headlining new Thursday night. The since-deleted post read, it's safe to say that most people expected the duo, who have been working together under the name Vultures, to at least deliver vocals. But instead, the pair clad in dark-coated outfits, with West wearing his now-familiar hockey mask merely roamed the circular stage at Sophie Stadium for an hour, while their Vultures one album played. After the duo had left the stage, a DJ played hits from earlier in West's career as the stage filled with dry ice. The pair defended their appearance in an interview on Big Boy TV in the early hours of Friday, with West claiming people just came for the experience. Sources tell Variety that the festival had expected a more conventional performance as well, and even erected a special stage with a circular lighting rig for the set, which was announced on February 15 and added as a standalone Thursday night show for the three-day weekend festival, months after the full lineup was unveiled. Many people criticized the festival for hosting West, due to his anti-Semitic remarks over the past months which have left him without a label or publishing deal and cost him all of his high-profile endorsement deals. There was no immediate confirmation of reports that the pair were to be paid $10 million for the appearance. While the format was similar to his public album listening sessions that he staged for nearly every release since the run-up to the Life of Pablo album in 2016, they had always been advertised as such and have never before featured only previously released music or taken place at a festival. It was unclear whether the move was a statement about the album, which Wes has gloated about reaching no. One on the Billboard 200, despite his detractors or some sort of dig at Rolling Loud, a festival he has performed at twice before. Given West's often contrary in nature, it would not be surprising to see him take the stage with another artist later during the festival, which kicks off in earnest tonight and runs through Sunday with acts including Mickey Minaj, Post Malone, and the duo Future and Metro Boomin. Not surprisingly, many fans were enraged while others defended West, although rarely specifically about Thursday night's format. Thursday-only tickets were sold for the event, although fans who had already purchased tickets for the festival's main three nights did not pay extra for admission. Attendees say venue entrances were very congested before the show, causing many fans to arrive late. Fans expected Kanye West to perform at Rolling Loud. They did not hold back when he ended up only dancing instead. Kanye West was seemingly having a week free of controversy after cameras spotted his ex, Kim Kardashian, hanging with his wife, Bianca Sensori, and his daughter, Northwest, announce her first album. However, unfortunately, he ruffled some feathers with fans after his big performance at California's Rolling Loud Festival ended up not being much of a performance at all. Yeezy spent most of his set dancing, and those who attended didn't hold back with how they felt about that. He was the headliner for night one of Rolling Loud and thousands showed up to see the rapper perform songs from his Vultures One album alongside collaborator and singer T. Dollar Dollar Iron. Many were led to believe this would be a traditional concert performance, but once the show started it became clear that this was a performance more in line with the listening parties he hosted in the past. Posts began to roll in from social media complaining about the performance, 
and there was even a video of Ye dancing on stage without a microphone in hand. Audiences watched as Kanye West and other musicians danced on stage to the songs, but once the music from Vultures 1 ended, West promptly left the stage. The final stretch of the concert featured a DJ playing some of the rapper's most classic songs while smoke poured over the stage, potentially to hide the fact he wasn't there. If that was the intention, it doesn't seem like attendees were fooled. This wouldn't be the first time Kanye West has disappointed his listeners. He charged attendees a lot of money at a previous performance only to drastically drop the price closer to showtime. The concert was so lackluster that some in attendance had the suspicion it wasn't actually the rapper on stage the entire time. Some were shocked by the performance, but others weren't as surprised. The rapper has been known for these types of things before, and some believe it was his plan all along to do a listening party rather than a performance. Not everyone who attended had a bad time, though. While there were plenty of tweets critical of what they saw during the Rolling Loud performance, there were also attendees who loved hearing Vultures 1 and seeing all the talent that took the stage. While it may not have been a traditional performance, it still seemed like a party with a concert atmosphere and fans jammed to the music. No word from Yee as of yet on how he felt about his performance at Rolling Loud, but it could be coming. The musician has taken to social media to talk about everything from his term made at Adidas contract to making apologies in Hebrew on Christmas Day, so it's possible that he'll comment on this situation. Whether fans are off or on board with Yee, there's no denying he knows how to generate headlines with his antics. Those who miss the old Kanye as his song goes can use their Netflix subscription to watch his documentary series Gene Yes, a Kanye trilogy. It's a great look at the musician's early career and the storied life he's led that transformed into where he is in right now.